they they did a kind of physics that is very akin to wakeboarding. This is out of Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. The basic idea is in order to make muons, usually you need like extremely large particle accelerators. Okay. And this guy, these guys are have done it in effectively the size of like a lab, maybe a big lab. A big lab. But it's still not like, you know, the size of CERN. Or they use the laser plasma accelerator. Okay. And here they've created an electron gun, effectively, that is extremely fast with a with with a short rifle yes. in some sense. Yes. And 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 what they're doing is wakeboarding the electrons. Okay. So I've only gone once, and I immediately almost got a concussion the first time I got up because I just fell and slammed my face into the yeah, water. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I never go into water <laughs> in wakeboarding. Right. The boat goes at a really high speed, and then you got a surfer that surfs the waves of the wake. That's what they're making the electrons do. They've got an ultra short laser pulse, okay? And they're gonna fire it into a gas. It's gonna create a plasma because the laser is gonna push out a bunch of the negative charges and you're gonna get free electrons and you're gonna get these positive nuclei. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden you have um, a bubble of positive charge, okay? And then if some straggly electrons get trapped in that bubble, they're going to ride that bubble. And because it's positive, positively charged, they're going to want to get the hell out of there. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to push these electrons out. You're going to be accelerated by these powerful electric fields. And you can get somewhere like several billion electron volts, like giga electron volts in a 30 centimeter plasma channel. That's cool. Versus like, usually that takes hundreds of meters. Right. Uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to dump that beam into a giant block of lead, steel, and concrete. Okay. And what that's going to do is the electrons are then going to interact with these heavy nuclei. Lead is a very heavy nucleus, right? And the electrons are going to slow down, creating radiation. So all of that energy of the electron is going into high energy photons. These are gamma rays. And now those high energy photons will interact to create pairs of particles. Pair production is something that happens when you got a bunch of energy in one spot and that energy spontaneously splits into two particles, one that is the matter part, one is that is the antimatter. If the physics is right, then you're gonna get a bunch of matter-antimatter pairs that are exactly muons and anti-muons, mm -hmm. okay? You, if you tune the energy, remember E equals mc squared, yes. right? So if the energy is exactly equal to the mass of two, of two muons, one muon and one anti-muon, then the energy is gonna dump into muons and anti-muons. That field is gonna take over and it's a muon beam. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. So now we've got a muon beam. Very cool. Right.